Praise the Lord, children of the living God. We are still talking about hope in God, no matter the affliction. We have seen the part A of self import affliction. Now, I want us to go back to that in part B of it. The Bible made us to understand about the life of Esau, how Esau brought affliction upon himself and upon his generation because of porridge, because of what he eats. In the book of Genesis chapter 25, if you read from verse 30 to 34, he sold his birthright. He lost everything because of what to eat. He brought affliction of poverty, of struggling in the life of in his life and the life of his generation. Rachel brought affliction upon, his, upon her life. The Bible said when Jacob left her uncle Levi, on their way, Rachel stole his father's idol. And when Laban pursued them and said that was accusing Jacob of stealing the idol, Jacob said, whosoever that is holding that idol should be put to death. And Rachel used that idol and put it upon her and sat on it. She, while she was about to deliver her last child, Benjamin, she died. Wherever you are, Listen to this telecast. God Almighty, who cleans, who sanctifies, who purifies, who corrects every error, every affliction that you brought upon yourself that is waging war against you. In the name of the resurrected Christ, I decree and declare this moment you are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. That affliction is over. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, I pray. Amen. You need Jesus for you to be freely free from that self-imposed affliction. In Jesus' name, amen.